in the Ford C-Max Hybrid. Uh, this is a 2013 model with uh, the SEL premium packages. Uh, it's got uh, tons of options that are really nice features, uh, including a backup camera that I'm looking at now with guidelines. And we're just going to go for a quick drive and try to walk through some of the interior features. Uh, and then um, hopefully sum up with some good points and first drive reviews for the Ford C-Max. So as you guys know, this is a, you know, this is a derivative of the, the Focus platform that also includes uh, the Fusion Energy's uh, hybrid powertrain. Or excuse me, the Fusion, uh, Fusion Hybrid's powertrain. Um, got caught up there. Uh, it, the uh, the C-Max is also available in an energy configuration that does share the Fusion Energy's plug-in hybrid option. Uh, but for this car, it's just a gasoline hybrid. Very simple to use uh, with silent startup and conventional gear stick. Um, as you can see, I've got a great driving position here. I mean, I'm pretty low and sporty with the wheel out toward me, uh, which is different for this like MPV body style because there is, you know, a pretty, pretty sloped windshield and a uh, huge, huge piece of glass here, but also a pillar windows that are nicely shaped so that you can get a look around you, uh, which is handy. And there's also, um, you know, really deep glass that, that is helpful for the backseat passengers. This is a five seat wagon configuration with a huge trunk and fold down seats, uh, as you might be able to see behind me. And, uh, but you know, having that big piece of glass uh, really helps with transporting kids uh, in particular uh, without a sunroof. But there is a huge bit of headroom. I mean, I could wear a big, you know, a big Stetson hat in here without any kind of trouble. Uh, but there is a, a range of adjustment from the seating configurations, you know, and when I first got in, I mean, I swear the guy behind me must have been, you know, five foot tall and maybe 110 pounds based on the way he was sitting, you know, up so much higher than I prefer, but not a big deal. Uh, so the C-Max has really, really fun and fluid dynamics. As you can see, we just went around the little curve there, you know, and it's it, what, what marks out this C-Max hybrid versus... Uh, some other MPVs on the market is uh, a huge level of interior refinement, so it's very hushed uh, and has very firm, a firm feeling chassis in terms of how it absorbs bumps, uh, and everything in the interior is solidly bolted on. There are no, uh, there are no secondary crashes from any kind of bumps like that when you're, uh, when you're driving. It also has a, a really nice handling balance and low center of gravity thanks to the battery pack which is a side benefit and also is really handy in, uh, in winter traction, coincidentally. But um, other, other interesting bits about the C-Max Hybrid include uh, the Eco Gauge, which is Ford's central speedometer flanked by uh, the left side, which includes a trip computer and a variety of other information messages, including real-time uh, updates on the mileage and um, gasoline versus, uh, versus electric power. And then on the right, you have, you know, a general, uh, a general use high-res screen there uh, in the right side of the eco gauge, uh, which right now is just displaying the radio station, but can also function to, uh, can I turn on red? To, uh, you know, can also provide, like, uh, either a compass for direction or updates based on where you're going uh, with a, an input navigation. Um... Anyway, so this car itself has, uh, has my 4 Touch by Sony and uh, includes the navigation and backup camera, which are optional extras. Uh, it also has a separate HVAC, uh, which is dual automatic climate control unit here with, uh, with totally redundant uh, controls for everything you would need. Uh, you can also control that through the bottom right-hand corner of the, the my 4 Touch touchscreen, but... You know, uh, I, many buyers will find it much, much easier and handier just to control it uh, with the simple, familiar buttons uh, in the bottom of the screen. Um, what else is going on? So it's got, we've got a great Ford steering wheel with this sort of like metal accented uh, piece uh, around the twin, uh, the twin control modules, as well as speedo control, Bluetooth phone calls, and uh, volume control uh, right here on the speedo which is handy. Uh, we also have uh, a dash mounted gear stick. It's, tradi it's a, a traditional gear stick uh, with, you know, just a button and you slide down uh, and, and do it uh, just like every other car has been for, for quite a while. Uh, but it is a nice change versus the Prius, which has sort of a joystick application um, and some other sort of tech, tech focused gear levers that aren't, you know, that can be a little trickier in day to day use.
Um, other things, you know, about the cabin, it's we've got these strong vertical oriented uh, vents with a, with a nice a piece of what looks like brushed aluminum trim. Uh, it's you know it's pretty convincing with also um, a hard shroud here that's that's in like a a gold titanium color uh, and sort of looks like that motorcycle you know bike center console from the Nissan Juke. Uh, we've also got uh, you know a console up here for glasses and uh, the color display for the. I don't know, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's the um, nighttime accent color for the interior of the vehicle. And, uh, you know, while I'm running my mouth off about the Fusion, the, fu excuse, the Fusion, uh, about the C-Max Hybrid, you know, I really, uh, I really am enjoying the, the way that it performs. It's got, it's got a nice level of steering feel and very limited amounts of hybrid uh, sort of kickback or any kind of uh, harshness when transitioning among hybrid modes. Um, I do notice that it has uh, that it has you know an enormous trunk and an enormous capacity uh, versus the X1 that it replaced in the top speed garage. It's uh, it's a lot bigger in here, uh, which is pretty impressive, especially with the seats folded down. Uh, but for now, that was uh, that was Tom Burkhart for TopSpeed.com. Uh, getting excited about the Ford C Max Hybrid and um, earning 44 miles per gallon as we speak. Thanks. Have a great day.